No one home on that play. Couldn't make that one happen. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Carpats got the puck in their own end. Here's a chance. Sends it across. Can't connect. Carpats got the puck along the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Can't catch up to the pass. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Couldn't complete the play. Anaheim's got the puck. Here's a stretch pass to point. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Can't connect. Takes the feed. Nice pass. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's the pass. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Anaheim's moving it along the wing. And look at this, a three-on-one. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. More than half the period left to play. Carpats up one zip. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Straight up the middle, here they come. They've got numbers. Along the half wall with the puck. Here he is, wrists it on net, takes it right in the chest. Instead of covering up, he feeds it along. Here's an odd man rush. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Picks up the puck in his own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick stop by Bishop. Solid check to slow him down. Moves right to the middle, turns it away on the slap shot. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Here's a rip. Denies him with the Whoa. save. Scores! All over the rebound and he puts it in. Gets in the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Right in the slot! The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabs it in his own end. Puck picked up in the open ice. Grabs control of it at the point. The Canucks have the puck in the corner. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Knocked away. The Canucks have it against the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Centering pass, denied by the goaltender. And he elects to play the puck. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Made the stop on the play. Bishop's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Taken by McCann. And he puts that one aside with ease. Picked off in the open ice. And he's ridden off the puck. Sealers got it against the boards. Move to the middle, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Canucks take it along the wall. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Great stick work as he pokes it away. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. That's intercepted. Here he is, all alone, and can't convert. There's the go-ahead goal, and we have a new game. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. They really read this odd man rush right. They didn't overmove the puck. They didn't make one extra pass. When it got into the shooting spot, it was delivered into the net. Anaheim 
Bears going to try to hang on to this lead here in the late goings of this second. And it's not by back on your heels. It's by being aggressive, by forechecking, play defense in the other team's end. It's been a tightly contested affair this far as the period comes to an end. The officials are set, the players are set, Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. let's go. Here we go, put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period, we are underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level, Ray, 40 minutes played so far, what's been your assessment of this tilt? The Canucks will continually grind away, looking for that tying goal. They have really had the puck a lot and generated a lot of offensive chances. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Lindholm's been nabbed for tripping. He's fishing around, trying to get to the puck, and fortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. The Canucks win it. Taken along the wall by Sealer. Quick pass to McCann. And that one's blocked! Right in front of the net! Special teams coming up huge on that goal! They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Scored on the power play. Carpats on the attack. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Sends the pass over. And that play's neutralized. There's the whistle from the line. He let that one go after the whistle. One possession. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Great poise here as he gets it back. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Across the line from center. Moves the puck along the half wall. From the half wall, a chance! And that shot dies in traffic. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by McCann. Anaheim's got it in the neutral zone. And he'll retreat inside his own end. And now he moves it to Ajo. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Puts it on net and makes the save. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Scores! Breaks the tie! I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. Look through to the net, he picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Anaheim's got the one goal lead here in the third. Like lots about the way that they've played, this goal is well earned, and now they have a chance to win this game. Puck scooped up by Hintz. Centering pass, he scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender. The Canucks have tied things up, and boy, it felt like this was overdue. They've had the puck the whole time, it seems like. they. It seemed inevitable that this game was going to get tied up. By number 95, Justin Bailey. Slides it across to Bailey. Handles the puck. The Canucks move it in. Right to the middle. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. There he is. He's got a step. Comes up with the stop. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. 
Moves it up through the middle from the right. Puts it up front. Here he is in close. Made that stop. Smothered that in close chance. Del Sato's taking it from his own end. Here's an offensive chance. Unable to reach that one. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes the pass. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice here. And the puck sails down to the far end of the ice. He'll go back to the defensive zone and try it again. Past the midway mark of the frame. It's all tied up. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. After the icing, there's a little more pressure on the centerman to win the draw. And comes up empty. The Canucks have it against the wall. And he coughs it up with the pass. Anaheim's got the puck against the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves the puck. The Canucks played along the boards. Good check, frees the puck up. Points got it in the defensive end. And they go back on the attack in the offensive zone. Puts it to the front of the net. And he was right there. They can't connect. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And he easily stops that one. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends the pass down low. Through center along the wing. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Late goings of this period. We got a tie game. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. On the attack along the boards. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you gotta get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score and you don't even test the goalie. Across the point. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Moving into the attacking zone. To his teammate, and they can't convert to the play. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. And that one's stolen at center ice. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Nothing doing on that. Stopped by the goaltender. Scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. You make a mistake that big. There's only one place you're going to find the puck. Yeah, that's in your net. That's where the puck is. Carpat's gone ahead here by one in the third. What's the message now for the stretch run, Ray? To be aggressive. Too often, teams sit back on their heels. They give up a chance. They give up a power play. Pretty soon, it's an all-out scramble. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And that's picked off. The Canucks have it in the offensive zone. Answered the call on that play. You like the call to go with the timeout here? I do. They looked a little bit flustered here, and the timeout will give them a chance to reorganize. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Clearing attempt. And with that clearing attempt, that should deliver the two points for the one-goal victory. And that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. How do you chalk up a win like this here, Ray? Is this just a case of good counterpunching? Uh, yes, you could look at it like that, or you could say we're just fortunate.